going on guys mario here and welcome back to the channel i want to start this video off by thanking all of you guys for subscribing we just hit a thousand subscribers and i'm extremely grateful so i want to say thanks to all you guys for hitting that subscribe button and showing love to the page so a lot of you guys have been asking about the honda civic and today we're going to be talking about that for those of you who are new to the channel this is my 2008 honda civic lx who have been on the channel for a while i know you guys haven't seen it in a while and i know you guys have been asking a lot of questions about where it has it been so today i'm going to be telling you guys what's going on with the car and what you guys should be expecting from the car so for those of you guys who are new to the channel this is my 2008 honda civic again and i'm gonna give you guys a rundown of what what's done to it so first things first I'm gonna go interior wise. Interior wise, we have a catless downpipe and a three inch exhaust from the cat back. Mind you, there's no cat on the car. The car is lowered on Godspeed, Mana SS coilovers, and I'm running about negative nine camber all around. Currently, we have stock wheels on the car. Nothing too fancy at the moment. And this is how the car is sitting for this winter. This is the winter setup. Okay guys, so recently I got the car painted. I decided to go with a cream color, which is like an off-white, metallic white, as it would say on the paint. And I have the car completely airbrushed. I'll show you guys the details. It's um, custom cherry blossoms with the Japan houses in the scenery. And that's done on both sides of the car. See much clearer on this side. We also have like the metal ripping up top with a little bit of fire. That's probably one of my favorite details about the car. It's the paint job. The paint job is killer. Anybody who knows this car loves the paint job. And I love the fact that they love it as much as I do. Okay, so let's talk about the flaws. Flaw number one is the paint is chipping from multiple spots of the car. And that's something that got to be addressed. You could tell. So up from right there. Um, the front fenders are up as well. You can see the paint chipping and the fenders buckled. Another thing is that the bumper itself does not click in place. That has to be addressed. And that's the same on both sides. Another flaw is that the paint is also chipping from the other side of the fender. And this is a no-no. This, All of this has to be addressed. 
So all the fenders have paint chip, which is not good. Paint's also chipping from the back bumper because it was falling off. Yeah, so that all that stuff has to be addressed. Last but not least, we have our biggest issue. I know you guys see that check engine light right there. And I'm gonna show you guys what it's actually on for. It's on for the car being in limp mode. So every time I press the gas, it doesn't pass 3,500. 3, I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Okay guys, that sounds like a two step, but in reality, it's really not. The car is in limp mode and that's just how it is. If any of you guys have any idea what will cause that, please do me a favor and leave a comment on this video and let me know what you think that might be. For all my under guys, please help me out. I've changed my cam sensor, my crank sensor, and my VTEC solenoid, and it's still the same problem. I don't know what it is. It sounds cool. But when driving, it's really not. So if you guys know what that's about, do me a favor, drop a comment, and let me know what you guys think. Another problem I have is I hit a curb and I messed up something in the control arm or somewhere around there. That's the issue that needs to be addressed. I don't know if it's the control arm or the axle, but we have to take the whole front end apart and try to figure that out. It's getting a bit late, but I just wanted to take this time out to show you guys what's actually happening with the car and not leave you guys in the dark about what's really happening. I know you guys wanted to see the car much more but with all these issues with the car it's kind of on standstill for right now the time will come that i'll be getting her back to her prime and until then i just want you guys to bear with me thank you guys for liking thank you guys for subscribing and thank you guys for getting me to a thousand subscriber with that being said guys stay tuned for more content and stay tuned for all the stuff that we're going to be doing to this thing right here in that case like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.